Well, my, my first real drum set that I got when I was a kid was a Christmas present from my parents. It was an old Purple Sparkle kit. It wasn't even a complete kit. It was like a little, little 18-inch bass drum, a little 16-inch floor tom, and a metal snare, and it's, I didn't even have a rack tom. I just had a timbali. And it was, it was great. I, I combined it with this other little kid drum kit, and I kind of put the two kits together and made this enormous double bass uh, mismatched. <laughs> it, was, it was a mess, you know? And when we started playing more around, uh, around Pennsylvania, we put the drum kit on this rotating platform that was built by my dad and myself. It was all donated steel. We just welded it together. We put a, an old Ford uh, wheel axle uh, behind it <laughs> on this metal frame, and then we seat belted myself into it and, uh, and just kind of <laughs> used it to and you know, my mom was behind it spinning me around in circles. So, uh, so that was kind of uh, the evolution of my, my first drum kit and uh, in a way that it's, uh, it evolved into uh, kind of a, a weird stage gimmick, you know? And it was a great way to get some energy out because I don't know if you can tell, but I was kind of a energetic kid. I spent hours just playing away and it was, uh, it was the best thing I ever did because it was a way I could channel energy in a constructive way and it, it also made a career for me and here I am 20 something years later and uh, I'm still here doing it so you know I owe it all to that. I owe a lot to uh, my really supportive parents that uh, got me the kit and that got me started because uh, if it wasn't for them then I don't know what I would end up doing. I'm just, I was so lucky that I found out what I really wanted to do at a young age and really worked hard at it, really focused on it. And, uh, and it paid off.